All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are live. So take off your pants, crack open a beer ski, and give in to the grind. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, we are going to be continuing, finishing, hopefully, uh, Dragon Quest Treasures. That's the plan tonight. We're going to finish off the uh, Admiral Mogsworth uh, quest, side quest, and then scoot into the uh, end game, I think. Hey, PK Mon. Hey, Cleese. How's it going, guys? <clears throat> see what our dailies are today. Talk to someone is one of the dailies. That's, uh, weird. Okay, um, yeah, what's up, dude? Oh, we got a big, uh, sexy cyber bully here. Named Spammy, apparently. Oh, cool. Let's fucking boost this guy's ability. Boost his fucking shit. Help her brother out! Holy fuck! That is by far the best I've ever done. By far. 218. The most I've ever done before was like 132. That's a nice treasure. Uh, do you wish to interact? Trying to yellow orb. How do I trigger your merchant being thrown in jail? Do you have a merchant? You have to talk to, uh... I think you have to just keep coming back. Like, you have to keep uh, progressing the story and coming back, and eventually they'll, uh, throw your merchant in jail. I don't remember that being required for the yellow orb, but it might be. They have your merchant, right? Like, he's he's working in the town. Are you making progress? Very good. Alright, let's go to accept Mogsworth's so challenge. It is in the cinder... the cinder fuck. Oh, you know who else is in the cinder fuck? Terry. The best guy. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, so I am going to go right here. Wait, it usually... Ah, eh, fuck it, let's go here. It's like in the middle. Okay, she has her castle thing and throne. Man, I don't remember how to trigger it. I think you, you gotta talk to everybody in the town, I believe. There's definitely, there's an area like south in the southern part of, of Newtown. And what do they call that place in in the remakes? In like the modern remakes. It was, I think we always called it Newtown or Immigrant Town. But I don't know that it ever actually had a name. And Dragon Quest Seven is definitely an immigrant, uh, immigrant town. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I saw this and it was distracting me. Oh, they name it after the merchant. Oh. Why is there so many quests in this place? So have you noticed anything funny about the, the world map yet? Don't look up spoilers, but uh, notice anything funny about the world map? Okay, so it's literally at that station. So let's just take the train to Cold Shoulder Station. Wait, if we're looking for Terry, we might as well take the road. Fuck it. We could find some Crimsonite, that'd be pretty cool. Oh, we probably won't find any near the road. Happy as a big um, 
Um, I think you just have to talk to everybody, and then the townspeople are like, fuck this guy, basically. <laughs> From what I remember. Did you find the... There's like a mini metal in that town, too. Oh, right! We have a, uh... I haven't found a treasure with Cutter yet. It's not too bad. Okay, so it's up on a ledge. Probably up here. If I had to guess. But maybe not. Yes! I'm back and... Oh, hey, Hayden Christensen, ghost. This is bullshit. Magnazone. Going for the Magna Bone. I wonder where the hell. Maybe it's, uh. Huh? Hey, it's close. Maybe it's like one of these areas. Is it less. less area y? It must be. Huh? Son of a bitch. Is it up here? Oh, it is. And it's uh, one of these. Alright. Let's save before we go in. We're hoping for a Terry statue. Did you talk to the to the merchant, too? All I remember is the, uh, the town gangs up. No, because the merchant... The merchant is, uh, you, you lose the merchant. When you do the merchant side quest, you lose the merchant. I would leave your priest, until he's learned all the priest spells, leave him as a priest. Um, you could make him a mage if you want. But that's what I mean, that's why I always, uh, I never, I never use, uh, a priest and a mage. Because I always just use a priest and then turn him into a sage. Let's go for this guy. Oh, fuck. There we go. Got rid of him. Oh baby, I need to heal. 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 Thank fuck. Piggy's got my back. Oh yeah. Oh, you meant what am I supposed to notice about the world map? If you look at it, it should be fairly familiar. Nice. We got an auto heal on. Sorry my hair is a little crazy today. Out of two gone. It does that. Alright, let's finish this. Hopefully we get the Terry trophy, but I or uh, statue, but I have it. Better. Get fucked. I can't remember if there's some abilities that only the mage learns. Oh, we got Elena! That's even better! Elena's like one of my favorite characters of all time. Like, top, top three Dragon Quest characters of all time. Yep. You figured her out. Now just dodge, dodge, don't look up spoilers. The only, the only, the Dragon Quest with the biggest spoilers is three. And I guess, eleven. Oh, we don't want that. We want to keep looking for, uh, Terry or... Hey, it's close. Or whatever this one is. Where could that be? Is that it? Found something. 
Yeah, so like Romilly is uh is Rome. Sue they called it in the uh Sue they call it in the uh some translations is like the Sioux natives. Sue uh Cause it's before the Europeans came to North America. Um, what else? Japan is definitely there. Edin Edinburgh is uh, is there. Save. I can't remember what they called Japan in that. Japan has some of the best, uh, best stuff, like, story stuff happens there with Orochi and stuff. You, oh, they did have the boomerang in there? How do you get the boomerang in that one, then? Because in the, uh, in, in the Super Famicom version, you get the boomerang by, uh, finding it and playing Pachisi or Sugoroku, but that's not, they took Sugoroku out of, uh, the mobile version, for whatever reason. And that's what I'm afraid of with the HD 2D remake, is I'm, I'm worried that they're going to uh, remove, have have Sugoroku taken out, or Pachisi. I like the, I like the name Pachisi, it just rolls off the tongue nicer than Su Sugoroku, but... Oh, you can buy with mini metals in that one, okay. Japan, yeah, 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 okay. Right. So that they kept that name the same. Alright, Mogsworth. Ho ho, you came! I take it you accept my challenge. Beat me and my treasure is yours. What say you to a treasure hunt? Yay or nay? Yay. Wonderful, then it's decided. A treasure hunting we will go. But first the rules. In order to defeat me, you must obtain a piece of treasure worth the value of one million gold coins. If you fail to do so, however, victory is mine and my reputation as a treasure hunter will be greatly enhanced. Now, without further ado, let the hunt begin! I feel like I already have a uh, treasure worth over that. We should save, though. I don't know. Did we just... We might have just saved, but I don't know. Alright, this just gives me more reason to try to find Terry here. Yeah, I'm glad they left the boomerang in then. The boomerang was not in the original Dragon Quest 3, like on the NES. Dragon Warrior 3. How are you liking the Dragon Quest games, by the way? Because, like... There's not a whole lot of story. Like, 3 is the first one that kind of has a bit more story, but the they don't really have a lot of story until, like, 4. Like, there's no, like, characters, really, right? In, in 1 through 3. I love them, but it might just be nostalgia. I also... I, I also, uh... Like, a lot of people do consider 3 to be their favorite. But uh, four, four was the the one that absolutely blew my mind back back when I was a kid. Feel bad for the ghost town. If you go there at night, it's a different town. You probably already know that, but I wonder if I could glide there. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna save and fail miserably. Oh, I don't have my fucking condor. Cause that would be cool. Oh no, you know what? It would wear it would wear out. There's no way the condor can fly that far, right? I've got a bird's eye view. I, yeah, I forgot about him. <laughs> Fucking bird. Let's see what's up there. See if we can get up there. I probably shouldn't be fucking around here, but what can you do when you live in a shoe? <laughs> Boing! Oh god, this is gonna hurt. 
Oh, I'm so... So used to having that damn, uh... Here we go. <sighs> that damn bird. Oh, there's a state. The station's right there. What is this, even? Okay. Let's get out of here. I don't want to drop down because then I won't be able to get back up. So let's just follow this road for a while. But yeah, what are you? What are your thoughts? Because this is your first time playing through all the Dragon Quest games, right? Like, have you played it? I I think you said you played a little bit of Eleven, right? And then you just kind of started playing the classics. The mobile versions are lose uh, are missing like. A bunch of the charm of the uh, other ones, but they're still decent games. And when I say the mobile ones, I literally only mean one through three because the mobile version of four is the DS version of four. And same with five, six. They never did do a mobile version of seven. Nothing here. And then eight is like a, I think it's its own thing. The mobile version of eight. Don't like that you don't feel any type of connection to the party in Dragon Quest three. Yeah, other than like the hero kind of, and like his family. But it's just like, it's like you and your friends, basically. God damn. We must have got most of the treasure in this place. Hate wandering around at night, too, in this game, because the enemies are more aggressive. Oh, here we go. By a bush, close to an arch thingy. Probably this right here. Maybe? Yep. Haha. <laughs> it's always nice when you can find it right away. Yeah, Dragon Quest Three. The. Pretty valuable. Oh shit! I don't even know. Is that just uh? Is that just a Quila? I think I already have a Quila. Dragon Quest Three, the the only like character you seem to have connection to is like you've got your family and then like the NPCs. Like a lot of a lot of Dragon Quest is like a lot of the story is told in like the towns. Like all the towns kind of have their own little like personality. The people in the towns, their stories, stuff like that. Oh shit! There's a metal slime right the fuck here. Come on, bitch! There we go, got a crit. Ow. Oh shit, I run. I run faster when I have the dragon thing on. But yeah, after, uh... After Dragon Quest 3, they all have, like, they all have, like, party members and stuff that are, like, good. <laughs> that are, like, actual characters. Whereas up until 3, like, you have to keep in mind, like, I think Dragon Quest 3 came out around the time Final Fantasy 2 did. So it's next to an open chest. And there's the chest, so it's probably right here. Up, up, up. How much is this worth? Like Final Fantasy didn't really get a story until 
They didn't even really try doing a story until Final Fantasy 2. And even then, like, it wasn't... It wasn't very good. And then Final Fantasy 3 kind of did a similar thing that... Uh, Dragon Quest 3 did, in that you've got, like, your party members and you can change job classes and stuff. drop down. Okay, hold on. If we use uh, the light one. There we go. We should probably load up on ammo before we uh, go to the end game stuff. Okay, we got him. Drop the metal, which is good. Oh god, I do not want to be down here with him. Where'd he go? Whoa. Oh, I see, uh, I see a balloon you now, too. This. I don't know where that guy went, but I think it counted as us beating them. Finally got locked up. Oh, good, good. Talking about what we classify 1 to 3, or what was originally 1 to 3... I'm just asking uh, PK Mon what he thinks of uh, the early Dragon Quest games. Man, we've got to be getting close to. Now, where could that be? Hmm, nothing here. To hitting all those. I want to get Terry so bad, but oh shit! What is this? Oh, this is a uh, treasured dungeon. Okay, let's go in there. Let's save first. Oh, if you mean Final Fantasy, I'm talking about, like, the actual... Actual 1 to 3. Shoo. Shoot him with little rocks. Get out of here. Did we get them all? Yeah. How's it going tonight, Shoe? Leveled up. There we go. Cutter's strong as fuck, dude. My big Dollahan guy. I gotta be careful. These these shadow guys can one hit kill me. They hit me with the right spell. And these guys can heal. Oh, well, I usually try to get rid of them. There we go. I was gonna say. So let's. Um, I think it's under the heals. Yeah, Adra. Yeah. You all right? 
<laughs> there. <laughs> Restoring his MP. Okay, this guy, I can never remember what the fuck this guy's weak against. Okay, it's it's Earth. There we go. Get fucked, buddy. You better have good treasure. Oh shit! I think that's Melroth. <laughs> That's We're Malroth. Done. We'll find out. Really want to get Terry though. Terry's supposed to be here. That's what was in the treasure forecast. I also think it said I had like a one percent chance of finding him though. Holy! Look at our fucking. We almost have a trillion. Gold in our vault. <clears throat> a Trilski. <laughs> Alright, well let's head out of here. I don't think we're gonna find Terry. Huh? Oh, hold on. Maybe he's right fucking here. Oh, look. Okay, it's in a corner. Probably here, maybe, hopefully. Yep. Hell yeah, brother. Bye. Give me Terry. Whoa. Another Elena? Fine. What the hell? I love Elena. Elena's like, like I said, top three fucking characters ever. Uh, so that should increase her... Um... What should we call it? Quality. Okay, let's go up on that little lip there, and then we'll... If we don't find any treasure, we'll, uh... We'll head out. We'll head back to the base. My guess is I just have to head back to my base with over... Uh, something over a million... A million gold. But I'm not 100% sure. I'll check the quest before I leave. Not seeing anything here. No. Let's just grab that silver treasure. Oh, that's not even a silver treasure. That's a fucking replica treasure. It's even less quality than the silver ones. Let's check. What, let's check up here. What to see a trick? Uh, these guys would stop fighting. I could scan for treasure. As I, I say, as I uh, beat monsters up. Yeah, what are you guys doing, man? There's nothing, man. All right, let's uh, jump on, jump on the train, head back to base. Let's just double check. Oops, I was hit fucking select, and I mean to hit start. Let's double check the uh, quest. See where it wants me to go. Yeah, I think, I think I just need to head back to my base to appraise the treasure I have. Is it just me, or does Eric sound a little like Oliver? Yeah, kinda, hey? I finally talked to one of my buddies into, uh... Into playing... You know what? Let's just do these. We've got two treasure slots left. We might as well do the, uh... The treasure chests. So let's do it. Um, I t finally talked to one of my buddies into playing Nino Kuni. And he is just fucking loving it.
I was like, yeah, dude, play it. It's like the best PS3 game. So damn good, dude. Want to see a trick? The rival gang is nearby. I wonder if I should go up here. Just to see if, just so I'm up, up on a higher level so I can get to where that is. You couldn't do it? I really, really like that game. Here we go. I'll have to stream it eventually. Do you play it? Oh shit. This works. <laughs> Bye. Looks pretty valuable. Why did we get three Elenas? That is so weird. Okay, what are we fighting here? Okay, we got him. Don't have to worry about him anymore. Alright, got rid of that guy too. Okay, let's do this one. And then let's go. That's weird that we found three Elenas. We should have like mint. She she should be mint when we get back. And we're definitely gonna be putting Elena on display. I, the the one things I wish I would have found. I mean Terry obviously we keep we keep trying to get Terry and we can never find him. Um, Terry as well as the Zenithian sword. We found the Nadirian sword, which is like a Zenithian sword made out of mud. <laughs> it's like the shit version. And I was super hype and thought I found the Zenithian sword when I first when I first dug it up because you just get that who's that Pokemon style silhouette. Nice. Oh shit. Dude, we don't have a lot of uh a lot of these pellets left. I'm afraid of those guys because I've been I've been one shotted by them too many times. Uh sure. Bang pellet. What part do you always end up getting uh stopping at uh Reiner? Hey, Sarzak! Going good. I'm trying to finish the game here. Oh no. There we go. Dude, he's still not dead? Get him! There we go. I'm gonna heal up a bit. Cause if I die, we all die. <laughs> Try not to use my dragon powers either, because I don't want, uh, I, I don't want to use them up and then I need them for the final dungeon area or whatever. Oh my goodness. I'm also just assuming it's the final dungeon. I don't actually know, but I, I, I'm pretty sure it is. Who the fuck keeps using Omni Heal on their team? <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm close to the end. I've got all the uh, the dragon stones, and now there's like, I have to go talk to uh, the main guy, and it's got like a big red like story quest icon above his head. So, Fuck, dude, I really need to stop coming into these dungeons when I don't have when I don't have enough uh, the proper ammo. I can't really help out all too well. 
We got a boss fight probably coming up too. Too much like Pokemon. Well, you can play it without using the uh, familiars. That's just an option. You don't have to use the familiars at all. Fuck, right? This guy's dark. Um, try donk? Nope. Yeah, we need to stock up an ammo. This is like, there's so many times I've done this where I just, I'm like, hey, let's go into a fucking a bunch of dungeons without any ammo. <laughs> it's like the worst fucking idea and I do it all the time. Alright, what do we got? We got a brick boy. Okay, so I know the gravity one is super effective against him. Trying to fucking corner me here. Holy fuck. Okay, uh, let's use Oomph on Cutter. And where is Gildred? There you go, bud. Fuck him up, boys. Got him. Alright, hopefully we get Terry here. If we get a fourth Elena, then just, what the fuck? Oh no, we got, okay, okay, I have that guy. I guess we're done here. All right, let's get back to base. No point even taking the train. We've got like 50 billion uh, Chimera wings. Cats are fighting on the stairs. It's just a typical Tuesday night. <laughs> I always hate when they fight on the stairs, man. Like they can just like fall down. Tango's so old. If he falls down the stairs, man, he's done. Okay, let's head back to base. I swear to fuck we grabbed, uh, Oliver and friends got their own ship. Oh, okay. So? What is it? Okay, I knew that was Aquila. We got like three or four Elenas, dude. I've never seen this before. All right, we definitely beat uh, Admiral. What's his dick? It's the tuxedo from Metal Gear Solid Three. <laughs> oh, nice PK. That castle can be a little confusing to navigate. There we go. I believe we got. I believe that's Malroth, right? I seen his own face a long time. We are too high. Oh, Seriously, Doug, brother. we're too high. A, Stop. A Doug, we're that. too high. Doug, we're too high. Hold on. I'm I'll high. Be high. I'm so high. Damn it, Doug. We said we're high. We're too high, Doug. We can't help. Doug, we are too high. What do you want from us? We're too high to help we're you. We're stone. Doug, we're. Doug, we're too high. Dude, these fucking bottles always feel like they're gonna explode when I open them. How's it going tonight, soldier? that many it should have moved her up to like something better than better than good someone's been polishing treasure troves oh it's not Kyril for once 
They're always polishing Kyrill for some reason. Yeah, that castle is confusing because you have to go like underground and above ground. The first place you want to go is like you go straight and then off to the right. There's like a, you know, you're going the right way when there's like, um, it looks like a little bridge or it's like a little strip of land and then there's like a, a staircase going down. Once you find that place, you know you're going you're going the right way. You're on the right track. There's some good treasure in that uh, castle too, though. You can get the fuck out of here. Let's see. Gigi, what's your deal? She's running around like a psycho. Not too bad, sitting in the man cave about to have a beer ski and figure out what he wants to start playing. Got patch 6.3 of 14 on the 10th. I'm not sure I want to get heavily invested in something at the moment. Oh, like it's it's coming out. Okay, I gotcha. Okay, um... Right, I was going to put Elena in the uh, statue room. Who do we replace? I would say we replace female hero. Actually, uh, let's get rid of Ragnar, actually. I never use Ragnar in my party in Dragon Quest IV. And where is Elena? There she is. There. Looking good. Pretty much full Dragon Quest 4 thing, other than the hero from one and the Dragon Lord. <laughs> there we go. Dragon Quest 4 probably has like my my favorite party out of every game ever. Like I just love all the party members. Okay, now we gotta go meet. Admiral Mogsworth. Let's tell Mr. Houston about okay, the he's still in here. Um, where the fuck was he last time? Cold shoulder, I think. New set of quests. Each pass contains new story quests leading into the next expansion. Fix his bow sub. Add a little. Oh, okay, gotcha. Is it like fucking busy as fuck on patch day? That's how fucking Star Trek Online is. Whenever they drop new story, the new like story episodes, they'll usually do like two episodes every couple of months or whatever. And every time they drop new episodes, it's just like, fuck me. You go from like nobody playing to like every single person who's ever played the game logging on. And it's free to play, so you can imagine how fantastic the uh, servers are. Back so soon, Eric. Did you manage to find a suitable treasure? Treasure with a value of a million gold coins shouldn't be so easy to come by. But let's see. What? Impossible? How could you possibly have unearthed such a prize item? Perhaps I've bitten, mo bitten off more than I can chew. Still, you beat me fair and square. The taste of defeat remains as bitter as ever, of course. But my word is my bond and my treasure is yours. Is it just going to be a statue of him? Oh no! So he probably has more side quests then. But let's push. Let's push to finish here. You may have won this round, Eric, but the hunt is far from finished. I bid you farewell till next we meet. So like right now. Find three pieces of treasure that are in mint condition to defeat me. You may have gotten the better of me last time. But I'll prove my worth as a treasure hunter to you yet. Hey, you knocked the slime over, you dickhead. You fucking dickhead. Usually it's harder to uh, log in, but nowhere near as bad as new expansion day. 
I was gonna say an even better party than Chrono Trigger. <laughs> I don't like Marl or Luca in Chrono Trigger, but I love everyone else. On your marks. Yeah, I'm not doing that one. There's no way I'm gonna find it. Three mint condition treasures in one stream, just casually. All right, let's head back to base. What are you doing? What are you doing? She's being like, she's like hyper for some reason. Hero from six. Nobody gives a fuck. Does anybody like Dragon Quest six? <laughs> is there anyone whose favorite Dragon Quest is Dragon Quest six or two? Chrono Trigger does have a s solid fucking party, though. Oh shit, I'm out here giving you guys free 420s. <laughs> We're back. Welcome back. Oh, just the stupid tent. Okay, lay down. Lay down. Lay down. All right. Pirate's tent model. Two milskis, almost three. Let's go to the gang menu and see what we've got here. We've got a trillion dollars, guys. A trillion fucking dollarinos. Okay, let's save. Oh wait, let's uh, load up on ammo. Fuck, I just went to the potential final dungeon without any ammo. That would have sucked ass. How can I help? To the works. All right, hold on. We might as well do these because they might have some of those thunder thunder cunt things. I need to make my. Uh, Zap bombs. That's a billion, not a trillion? You're probably right. <laughs> we got a Bilski, guys! A Bilski! There, Gigi's being good now. She just wanted to lay down. Oh, what is this? Glomb, uh, Glombolero. Oh, right, that's that slimy outfit. That's cool. Unfungus. Oh, right, we've been looking for a gate of evolutions as well. Crimsonite. Nice. GG, stop bracing against me. Hey, we got Carver, the only other good character in Dragon Quest VI. And I, I'm a little biased because Carver's Canadian. He's. I, the, the first time I played it, before I, when I didn't know he was Canadian, I didn't like him any more than any of the other Dragon Quest VI characters, so. <laughs> went to find copies of Dragon Quest V and VI, but I don't want my wallet to kill me in my sleep. So, funny story, my buddy that I do uh, uh, Muay Thai with, I got him, um, oh, we didn't get any fucking Crimsonite. I got him Dragon Quest V for Christmas, like the year it came out, and he still has it. And he, and he was like, "Holy fuck!" And he's like, "I didn't realize fuck this game was worth so fuck much money." Who's this Ganon? What's up, uh, PK? Oh, why do you think he screws yourself? I actually kind of like him less now. Like who less now? Gigi, you're gonna fall. Stop bracing against me. You ever try to like pu pull your pet towards you, but instead they just stiff arm you? Gigi, don't do that. How do I even bend your elbows? They bend the wrong way. You freak of nature. Okay. Back at last. The Canadian Dragon Quest character. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Carver. He's, yeah, he's not a very good character, to be completely honest. Well done. 
All right, we got literally nothing we wanted, so. What is it? Fantastic. Actually, that's not true. We got some gate of evolutions. We found a metal mom. Welcome to personnel. <laughs> yeah. You want something? You had both five and six, but you lost them in your last move. Fuck, dude. I always lose at least one game whenever we move. Hey, Hacko. When I was a kid, when we moved, I lost Sonic the Hedgehog 2. It was a sad fucking day. We are Thanks for the too high. Soldier. Seriously, hey, Doug, we're you're too gonna high. You're going to fall. Stop. Doug, we're too high. If you high. wouldn't brace Doug, against me. We're too high. I'm high. He's high. I'm so high. Damn it, Doug. We said we're high. I uh, increased hapless, which increases high, your Doug. defense. We can't uh, but help, makes your luck Doug, zero on your grid. What do you want from all us? It, all we're it really probably does you. is uh, lowers your Doug. crit rate to like we're... almost nothing. Doug, we're too high. Dunka. Dunka. Here we go. We need a billion of these. Dunka. 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 Donka, I've got a bird's eye view! Oh, I can just buy these now all willy nilly. Donka. Grab some of these. Donka. Grab some of these. I don't know what the enemies are going to be weak against, Donka. so we should probably go in with like a little bit of everything. I don't think I've used Woosh Donka. once. Donka. Donka. Okay, let's try and craft some. Hope I can craft some zap bombs. Nope, I don't have any of those thunder caps. Son of a bitch tits. So we just gotta go in with shitty fucking spells. Excellent. Alright, shit spells it is. All versions of three. Luck affects your character's chances of being affected by status ailments. Oh. Yeah, in, in, in Dragon Quest, it seems like you fucking... Anytime someone casts a status ailment, you get fucked by it anyways. The odds are, like, so low that you won't get fucked by it. That it probably doesn't really matter. Alright, let's go. Well, well, someone looks like the cat who got the cream. What's going on, Eric? I've found all seven stones. Well, what? You actually did it? You found all of the seven stones? As someone who has done everything within his power to support you on your journey, I could not be more proud. But this is not the time for such an unseemingly show of emotion, no. We need to line the dragon stones up and see them in all their glory. I can't carry them all by myself, though. Miss Persila and Mr. Porcus, would you be so good as to assist me? I'm pretty sure Persila and Porcus will be the dragons. I stored them away with utmost care, so it will take a little while to get them out again. Please do be patient, Eric. Dragon Balls, grant my wish. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, Dragon Quest Swords is next after this. Thanks to you guys. You were able to really get me to 600 time. followers before Listen, New Year's. Yeah. What they wanted us to do, well, we've done it, haven't we? Uh huh. Maybe we should head back home now. Huh? Hmm. Here we are. Thanks to you. <laughs> huh? Oh shit, the thunder is plunderers! Oh golly gosh, this is terrible! Silverbones has come for us! And it looks like he means business! Found Monster Rancher on GBA and Zoid's Assault on the 360. The GBA Monster Rancher is probably the one I played the most, actually. We mustn't panic, though. Our gang can hold their own against anyone. We'll soon send them packing. I'll make sure the seven stones are safe while you focus on repelling the invaders, Eric. I'm leaving this to you. 
I'll help Mr. Euston look after the Dragonstones and teach those pirates a lesson. I haven't used Mia, like, at all. Report to the company flag once you're ready to take on the Thunderous Plunderers. Okay. Watch out. They're here for our treasure. They ain't getting shit. Should do the trick. Oh my goodness! There we go. We all have like low tier. I have like low tier ammo. Oh, we are overloaded as fuck. With that as well. <laughs> that is a thing. Nice, nice. Get yeah, fucked. Uh, no, that probably is not the boss. You haven't seen the last of us. You missed with the wrong gang. The treasure trove is safe. They were just after the uh, dragon stones. You did it. We did it. The luminaries win the day once more. But how? I mean, we trained so hard. We really couldn't have trained any harder. But when it came to the crunch, it just wasn't enough. I, don't believe I can't believe we've been beaten again. God, it doesn't look, it doesn't make any sense. How could a little brat like you defeat the finest fighters that the, plund uh, the plunderers have? So it's Assault is like a strategy RPG that's almost nothing to do with the anime, really? It's a more militarized version of Zoids. Oh! She just jumped off my bladder, basically. <laughs> just who are you? I mean, really. Well, whoever you are, we're grateful you could spare the time for, a, for such a delightful little dust-up. Much obliged. What do you mean? That sounded like Mr. Houston. No, the seven stones. Come on, Eric. There's no time to lose. We are we too high. We must 420 ourselves. Seriously, Doug, we're too high. Stop. Doug, we're too high. Doug, we're too high. I'm high. He's high. I'm diversion. so high. Damn it, Doug. We said we're high. <laughs> Bad luck. Now Captain we're Silver will high, finally Doug. be able to claim the treasure of treasures we as his own. We can't help. Doug, we are too high. What do you want from us? We're too high. He's going to open up the... Uh, Doug. Oh no, Mia got the shit beat out of her. Doug, we're too high! What in the... Look, Eric, up there! He's gonna open up the passage to Isla... Isla, Isla Dorada, or whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> These treasures are all mine! Thanks for finding them for me. You really should have come. You monster! Those to us. This is like a Final Fantasy plot. You go through all the work to get the crystals, only to hand them over to the bad guys every game. These beauties have something to show me. Found the Isle of Dorada. <laughs> there she is, La Isla Dorada. La Isla? Well, my blue-eyed friends, I suppose I'll see you around. <laughs> All right, let's fucking fight him on the Isle of Dorada. The final showdown we're seeing. Fucking bullshit! Fucking bullshit! What happened? What happened? Fucking bullshit! I don't believe it. After we worked so hard to collect the dragon stones, I'm so sorry. I just couldn't stop them. I don't know how they did it, but they were gone in the blink of an eye. This is awful. All that effort, nothing to show for it. <clears throat> hey, pull yourself together and stop that whining. This isn't over yet. Sounds like Silverbones is heading for Lila Dorada. 
If we follow him there, we can get the seven stones back. You got wrecked? What killed you? Just monsters or, uh, Baramos? You're right. And to find the Isla of Dorado, we need the cloud compass, right? Hmm, Silverbone seems to have managed to locate it without the compass. Which must mean the cloud compass is still out there somewhere. But where? We don't have the first clue where to start our search. What about that mirror thing? You're right, we're in a bit of a pickle, it seems. Hold on. Yeah, the mirror thing. Now is not the right time, but when you truly do not know which way to turn, come back here. Baramos? Baramos is kind of tough, yeah. Mr. Houston, Eric reminds the gang about the mysterious mirror down in the snarl. Hey. Hey, I remember that mirror. Princess Anamone said it would reflect the face of the savior, right? I can't believe I didn't think of that. Well, we definitely don't know which way to turn, so maybe this is the right time. Yeah. You're talking about that murky old mirror down in the cellar? What are you planning to do with it? <laughs> well, I trust them. I mean, they collected all the dragon stones, after all. That's why I'm all for going with their instincts. I have a funny feeling they'll find a way through this. Yeah. Baramos is hilarious, by the way. Like, he looks funny as fuck. I suppose you're right, Porcus. And it's not like we have any other options. Very well. I'll put my trust in the pair of you as well. Let's go. Let's go. Alright then, let's head down to the Snarl. Check out that mirror and see what we can find out about the Cloud Compass. Follow the Spidey Compass. Any, has, did anyone play Spider-Man on, uh, on the PS1? Oh shit, did we just uh, beat the plunders for the 10th time? Let's collect our reward. Oh. <laughs> now doesn't seem the time to do side quests. That's us! Spicy meat the ball! Spicy meat the ball! Alright, let's see what we get. Hopefully jalapeno or habanero. I got jalapeno. Fuck yeah. I always like rip the bag like an idiot. And then it like goes all the way to the bottom. Thanks, Hacko. Oh, you played it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Carnage and Doc Ock. The final boss. Yeah, it was a nightmare. When he's like chasing you through that t uh, tunnel. But yeah, whenever you're lost in that game, Stan Lee is like, follow the Spidey Compass <laughs> every time. So that's why, that's why I always say that. Because you're trying to do like, you're trying to do like side quests in the game. And Stan Lee's just getting pissed off at you. That game was so good, though. Oh. Can't see anything. Well, we gave it a shot. <laughs> Oh shit! Hey there! So you made it! Are you guys the saviors? <laughs> Were we really this small? That's cool. And did you really sound so cute? Shut up. What are they on about? Listen, we're in a bit of trouble. This treasure that belongs to our friends, it's been stolen. We need to get it back. But we don't know where to start. That's right. We've got to help. We need to get this thing called the Cloud Compass. The Spidey How Compass. How to find it? <laughs> <laughs> the truth is, you already know the answer. Huh? Try asking some of your new friends for help. Then you'll need to head for the heavens. Once you're there, and the two compasses align. You will find what you're looking for. Daggers, I bet. I don't understand. 
Your yep. hearts must join together as one. And don't worry. Trust in yourselves, and all will be well. Oh, is that the time? I promised to meet an old friend. Hey, wait up! I don't know if that's the hero. Got other stuff to ask you. Tell us who you are, at least. Listen. Whatever happens from now on, you must never stop believing in each other. That's so awesome. That's so cool. Fuck, this just makes me want to replay Dragon Quest XI. Oh, the mirror's broken. But there are so many more things I wanted to ask. There was something strange about those two, wasn't there? Felt like we knew them. Are you alright? We heard the most almighty smash! Huh? The mirror's broken. How did that happen? Eric tells Porcus and Persola about what the people in the mirror said. So they told you to ask your new friends for help and head for the heavens? And what you're looking for will appear when the two compasses align? Well, whoever they were, I don't think we've got any choice but to trust them. So, Eric, can you think of anyone we've met who'd be able to help us head for the heavens? Um... Mr. Euston? Mr. Euston said... <laughs> Good thinking. You might be able to take a train to where you need to go. Oh, right. I was... I... Yeah. I just realized that we aren't using an airship. We're using a train to get around. Because I was like, why wouldn't we just follow after the the pirates? But we couldn't. We don't have an airship. We just ride the trains. I'm not sure. Trains are stuck on the tracks. They wouldn't be able to help you. They wouldn't be able to take you up to the heavens. I suppose not. I suppose not. Maybe Mr. Euston's not the man we need then. Well, Eric, can you think of anyone we've met who'd be able to help us? What about Mogsworth? Oh, no, Levanter. They would have uh, a sky, an airship. Now's a good time. The princess would. Yep. Captain Levanter of Sylvania. He's definitely got a flying ship. Well. Yes, he does. Good thinking, Eric. The Sylvanian ship should be in their stockade on the pattern organ. That's the last place I saw it, anyway. All right, then. All right, then. Guess that's where we're headed next. We'll ask the Sylvanians to give us a lift and head for the heavens. After that, well, I guess we'll find out when we get there. Oh, and I'm coming too. We all have to do what we can to get those dragon stones back. All right, then. Yeah, because uh, Princess Amelia would be more than happy to help us. We've helped her out like a million times. That's fucking cool that you get to see uh, like grown, like adult Eric and Mia. You ever try this, guys? Rolling up the stairs? <laughs> Give it a whirl. It's a blast. <laughs> I love trying to do that in, like, Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> you get, like, that realistic reaction. Rolling in our gold. Rolling around at the speed of sound. What do we get when we, uh. Really? Variant of the Thunderous Plunderous Banner. Acquired after defeating the battle. It features their emblem. Oh, uh, okay. Don't want it. I haven't fought the Sylphanians once. Because we're like best buds with them. Alright, let's go to the pattern organ. Let's go! Yeah!
<laughs> Baramos is tough. I do remember him being tough. Oh yeah. Yeah, never try never try to relute, rely on like debuffs and stuff on uh, boss fights and and drain attacks. And then with buffs, I think starting in like Dragon Quest 4, they get what's called like the Wave of Destruction or something like that. And what it does is it clears all your personal party buffs. Fuck. Oh well. Trying to cast spells on me, you prick. No, you just gotta grind a bit, man. You can beat him. I usually grind in Baramos's castle. Okay. I feel like it's like up there. There it is. Yeah, I think you just gotta level up, PK. Baramos ain't easy. He is the final boss. Yes. I think I usually get to like level 30. To fight Baramos. Oh right, I don't have my bird. I was gonna jump and glide. Oh no! What the fuck? Somebody fucked off with my treasure? Oh well. Yeah, I'm usually usually like level 30 when I fight Baramos. He's playing the Switch version though, which is like the easiest version. So it might be doable at that level, but I would I would still get to I would still get get to level 30. Boink. Okay, where the fuck is it, dude? Oh, I bet it's like right here. Yeah, there it is. Dun. Oh shit! It's fucking uh, the main villain from Six. I can't remember his name because he just shows up randomly at the very end. <laughs> can't remember his name. Death Tamor or whatever. Wait up. Is it gonna be the princess? Oh no, it's Mia. I'm coming too. Remember? Let's see if the Sylphanians will give us a lift. <laughs> they will. We're buds with them. I want to live. Thanks for the lurk, Kokoji. Both of us. I want to live. Hope you're having a fantastic evening. We are looking to finish Dragon Quest treasures tonight. What do you want? What now? Well, Captain Levanter, we were actually hoping you could do us a little favor. I see. So you found the seven stones only for Silverbones to pinch them from under your noses. 
And now you want to borrow our ship so you can head up to the heavens and get them back? I don't know why you think flying up in the air is going to help, but I suppose you must have your reasons. And I must admit, I'm all in favor of Silverbones getting his comeuppance. But I'm afraid I'm not in a position to just lend our ship out at the drop of a hat. You've heard the discussion, and I trust your highness. Oh, yeah, the metal slimes. Indeed. I usually grind on the metal slimes for quite a bit. Indeed I have, and it's a tricky one. This ship is our pride and joy. Letting someone else use her is not a decision to be taken lightly. No. The truth is, our kingdom has relinquished its claim to the Seven Stones. We have to come to the realization that they are not in fact the treasures we really want. And while we are always willing to do battle in the pursuit of treasure, we do not fight for fighting's sake. For that reason, I'm afraid I cannot permit you to use our ship in order to go and fight Silverbones. What?! You fucking biatch. Fucking bullshit! Fucking bullshit! What? Fucking bullshit! However, we do owe you a considerable debt of gratitude. You have helped us unravel many of these island's mysteries, after all. And as our way of repaying you for all you've done for us, I'm happy to offer you passage to your destination of choice. Wow. Oh, she will help us anyways. Wow. Oh, wow, that'd be great. Thanks. Well, then. Looks like you're in luck, then, eh? Now, I'd better introduce you to your captain. This is Windy. She may be young, but she's as fine a navigator as Sylphania's ever produced. <laughs> Windy? She's just tiny. Just a little kid. <laughs> just report to her once you're ready to depart. Alright, let's save first. Uh? Uh? <laughs> I just added that one, like, just this year. Uh, my name's Windy, and I'll be your captain. Welcome aboard. Ready so, ready to set sail for the heavens? Hell yeah, brother. Oh, has that treasure you've got there been appraised yet? If not, I suggest you get it looked at before heading to La Isla Dorada. Things could get hairy over there. Or if that's too much hassle, you could just throw it away right now. Uh, are you mad? <laughs> I just want to see... It's time to do, 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 do. It's time to. You can actually duel people that are that are here, but they have to accept it. So don't duel me, cause I am busy. How do you check your uh, your treasure here? I can't remember. There was a way. Carried treasure. Ah, right, we don't want to lose him. Fuck. Alright, let's just Chimera Wing out of here. Okay, no grabbing treasure this time, goddammit. Oh, Bob Saget! Oh, Bob Saget. What kind of treasure is it? Do, 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 do. I'm not sure what the fuck that is. Oh, that's the power shield, okay. Yeah, that's the one that you can use as an item to we are heal yourself. Too high. Seriously, Doug, the we're too high. Soldier. Stop. Doug, we're too high. Doug, we're too high. I'm high, he's high. I'm so high. Damn it, Doug. Right. Oh, more to more than call high. in the translation. We're too high, prick, Doug. Man. We can't help! Doug, we are too high! What do you want from us? We're too high to help we're you! We're stoned! Doug, we're... Doug, we're too high! Oh my god, of course. But they have kills. What are these guys after? Sorrow! It's time to do 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 so you have to type exclamation point accept if you want to uh, ex uh, accept the duel. Remember the name, Daybreakers. Fuck, I gotta use my weak zap against the killing machine. Got him, boys. Uh, let's go with the uh, let's go with the earth stuff.
Oh shit, another fucking robot. Orc Gigantus. Neither of which are weak against this. This stuff will make you a goddamn sexual tyrannosaurus. Just like me. Just like me. Oh, yeah. It's just, uh, it's just random, I'm pretty sure. It's similar to the Battle Royale. There we go. Hopefully no more come. Damn it. You guys are not fucking around. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can, uh... Oh, shit! Cast Blink. You're gonna have to try harder. He's all defense. Which character are you anyways, Reiner? I can't remember. Oh yeah, you're the fucking Met. <laughs> you're always the Met. Hako, are you the skeleton? Alright, this should make my uh, Sorrow statue value go up. Nice. One step at a time. This is a stunning good show. Okay, let's go back to the pattern organ and not grab any treasure. La Isla Dorada, here we come. La Isla Dorada. Okay, no more fucking around. Find some treasure. No more screwing around, guys. Red Ma Mage has the best stats. Uh, I bet, but Finny claimed him. <laughs> well, we did have two frogs for a while. I think Korra and... Uh, I think it was Korra. Korra and Soldier were both frog for a while. Okay, no treasure, guys. No matter how... You know what? If we find treasure, we're gonna dig it up. Because if we can get the Zenithian sword... Omega class, big boners. You know what I mean? Where am I? Which one are you? Uh, you're carrying the princess. You're right in front of my uh, logo right now. You're the hero from uh, Dragon Quest 1. <laughs> Don't. God, these guys are like debuffing the shit out of me. Oops, wrong thing. Let's go. One last level up. I'm a little bored. <laughs> oh yeah, if you uh, you have to talk within like a certain time period, or they go away. But they show up when you when you type. Mine stays there all the time. I think Slimeborg more or less stays all the time. Alright, let's save and talk to Wendy. Who seems like a nice girl. Oh, Wendy, right. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Alright, uh, it's time to weigh anchor and set sails for the heavens. We'll just need to watch out for stormy weather. The sky looks a bit ominous today. Anyway, enough chit chat, let's get moving. Yeah, he probably would have spawned back in 
when you said where am I? No, this we have to use their airship to to chase uh, Captain Silverbones and get the uh, Dragon Stones back. Silverbones found La Isla Dorada, so we gotta try and find him. It's starting to rain. Too bad she's wearing a white dress. <laughs> uh -oh. alert. Exactly is the plan. Both of our hearts must become one. Princess Anamone is Bit of a babe. Fusion, yeah, fusion. Ha! Oh shit! It's the Spidey Compass. Do I sound like Stanley at all when I do that? In my head, I do. I don't know if I actually do though at all. <laughs> Follow the Spidey Compass. Oh, there it is. The Rainbow Road. Found it. La Isla Dorada Ahoy. The Rainbow Bridge, man. Good old Dragon Quest One tribute. This whole game is like a Dragon Quest fan's wet dream. I like Captain the Banter. All right, we're here. Asgard, here we come. Now, Princess Anamone has already told you that we won't fight for fighting's sake. So if you get into any scrapes or skirmishes, you're going to have to look after yourselves, I'm afraid. Wait, it wouldn't be fighting for fighting's sake. It would be fighting to save your friends from dying, you dickhead. But don't worry, we'll be right here. We're rooting for you. So this is it, La Isla Dorada. I'd love to explore this place, but now's not the time. Instead, I shall simply hope that a fair wind carries you to victory. Look at all this gold! It's so bright my eyes hurt! And I've got a bird's eye view! <laughs> Just imagine all the treasure that's waiting for us here. Now, we'll be right here rooting for you. You're gonna have to do the fighting yourselves. Don't worry though, you got the beating of silver bones. I know you have. What? That didn't make any goddamn sense. Wow, this place is amazing! Hmm? Oh, sorry, Eric. Do you want me to take you back to the pattern organ? Not a chance, bitch. It is nice we can go back, though, if we need to. It's time to find Silverbones and get our dragon stones back. I smell danger. We need to be careful. I saw a treasure chest over here, and I will see if I can open it. Eh... Animony. An Animony? Oh, uh, what? Did they say her name? Upscaly soda recipe. Oh, dude, there's a bunch of little. Heartless Hunter. Oh, there's one over here, too. Well, that's a shit one. At least they're trying to give us uh, emotional support. Like in Platinum when the actual champion sends you to fight Pokemon Satan. <laughs> yeah, the fuck. I liked Platinum. So, Platinum was like the third Pokemon game I played. Because I I uh, played Sil- No, it would have been the fourth if, if you count Soul Silver. So basically, like, I quit playing the Pokemon games after Silver. Um, and then when Soul Silver came out, I grabbed that, 
And then I think Mike was playing, uh, I don't know, I think he was playing Platinum. He's like, this one's, this one's really good. And so I was like, oh, okay. So I, I got Platinum, and I fucking loved it as well. But a lot of people are saying Diamond and Pearl suck. So, are, is there like, did they make like a lot of changes to, uh, to Platinum then? Because I've never played Diamond and Pearl. I've only played Platinum out of that generation. Yeah, Giratina. <laughs> Diamond and Pearl are fine. Platinum is just better. So, other than the Giratina thing, what what does Platinum uh, Platinum do different? Only one of the biggest changes is that the pacing of battle is faster. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sure we've seen this place before. Oh, this is the, uh, where we got the, the daggers. So if we stick our daggers in the crystals or something, it'll probably open something. I get it. This place must be the original version of the room you found in those old ruins. Sounds about right. And that means there's a good chance that those daggers of yours used to be stored in here. Another is that there's different distribution of Pokemon, so your teams are less restricted. Half the new Pokemon in Diamond and Pearl can only be acquired in post-game, while in Platinum you can... Oh! Also, yeah, I remember the uh, Battle Frontier in Platinum. I played it in Platinum before I played it in Emerald. <laughs> well, I never did play it in Emerald, but I played it in... Uh, what the fuck was it? Uh, the remake, Alpha Sapphire. Well, there's no sense speculating. We mustn't get distracted. I have a feeling Silverbones is waiting for us just up ahead. If we can defeat him and recover the seven stones, we'll have done what we came for. Come on. It's going to be a tough old battle, but I know you can do it. On we go. Other changes are less important. But those are like the big ones that set it apart. Think Mia will actually join us in the battle, or will she be like, I'm going to hold the, the defense. <laughs> That's probably how we'll get back to our world, right? Using those pedestals. I don't like saving here, but there's no there's no alternate saves in this game, so. Well, if we can defeat Silverbones and recover the seven stones, we'll have done what we came for. It's down to you two now, and I know you've got what it takes. It's time for the showdown with Silverbones. Do whatever you need to do to prepare, then show them what for. We're, t we're in this together, Eric. Let's do whatever it takes to get the Dragon Stones back. Are we actually in this together, Mia? Or are you just gonna hang out in the entrance? Alright, boss fight boss fight time, guys. You can get Gibble around the second gym, we're in Diamond Pearl, it's around the sixth. Alright, guys. It's fucking go time. Naturals! By god everyone is naturals! We're gonna fucking die. Nah, we got this. We are Ooh, the too confidence high. juice. Seriously, Doug, soldier. we're too high. Stop. Doug, we're too high. Doug, we're too high. I'm high, he's high. I'm so high. Damn it, Doug. We said we're high. We're too high, Doug. We can't help. Doug, we are too high. What do you want from us? We're too high to help. Oh, yeah, that's the fucking, uh... Doug, we're... Doug, we're too high. Okay, that's pretty cool. So they all fit together. Let's go. Let's go. Guys, I might have to take a quick leak before we fight this boss. Face the cover fire too. <laughs> He's like, he like ducks and gets out of there. So dumb. Get the treasures, bro. Hey, level one all. How's it going, dude? Oh, 
Oh, me is actually helping. Okay, I'll be right back. Sorry, guys. I gotta take a leak real bad. So I will you be right cool back. You ain't cool unless you pee your pants. Wow. Okay. He's kind of like half duck, half gator. This is what happens to your sperm when you beat off into the toilet. It, it, it attaches, it impregnates an alligator and turns into this thing. 30 bullets, that's it. That's it, Daniel. After all we've been through together, 30 fucking bullets. Repair the wires. Yeah, just grab them and push them together. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. It's the sperm bank for spoiling. To the cum lab! Ray, get out of the way, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> Fucking Ray. <laughs> oh, yeah, brother. Uh oh. Well, would you guys still hit it? Because <laughs> I would. Just to say I did. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Holy lord. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is this? I want you to see what mind games the Beatle has in store. Dude, I want to just bat it down. Oh, it's so freaking close. I think it landed on me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's on me now. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> it's definitely on me. <laughs> it's definitely on me, guys. Where? I have no idea. Oh. I can't see it in the cam, so. He's dead! The Beatle is dead! We uh -oh. killed the Beatle! Boner alert! Alright, we're back, baby! Let's beat this shit. Final boss time. And he's got fucking teammates that I did not anticipate. But we are incredibly fucking over leveled. So we should be alright. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a great saber cat too. I'm just gonna go for silver bones. Fuck it. Where is he? So yeah, probably light. Get out of my sight! Uh, I should be buffing my dudes here. Buffing my knob. Oh no, Cutter! There we go. He's like shooting his own monsters, what the fuck? Try gravity? I don't know what this guy's weak against. Definitely not gravity. Natural! My god, every one of you is natural! We're gonna fucking die. Thanks, PK. Oh shit, we gotta fucking... Fight these fucks again? I don't remember what this guy's weak against. I wanna say like... Why won't it lock on, brother? Oh well, it's definitely water that he's weak against, though. It's not letting me lock on to him. Ooh. We are so fucking over leveled, dude. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's on his fucking head. It's on his chest. Alright. Okay, the fire one. This is definitely also probably weak against water. Oh, this is ice. No, oh, this isn't against... happening. There's no reason for me oh, to go shit. on. What am I fighting for? Shoot him in the fucking gut. There we go. Turn around, bitch. There we go, there we go, there we go. 
Just a little fire. We're still good. We're still good. All right. Tut needs rhinos. This is the water one. So possibly fire. Bang. Yep, bang works. So my guys are still buff. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, what? Ready to die. Okay, definitely fire he seems to be weak against. Oh, those aren't my hits. Okay, that's the other guy's hits. Whatever, let's stick with fire. It's not doing terrible damage. And we did a fucking Holy seven hit man. So. Could be your chance to turn the tables. Or get slashed. We're like 10 levels higher than him, though. Oh, he's re I, was, I thought he was fucking recharging his health. I was like, no! Bosses shouldn't be allowed. Are you allowed. really as good as they all say you are? Oh shit, no. Rasher, no! Rasher, no! Let's use Omni Heal. There we go. Uh -oh. Let's juice up Rasher's uh, magic. There you go, bud. There you go, piggy. Cutter's running out, too. Where is he? All over the goddamn place, that's where. You f constantly! You fuck. Constantly. Okay, they're still buffed. Cutter has no MP though. There we go. Fully fucking MP Windows 90. Ass. Get Bill Gates in here. Oh, we got him. Take the Dragon Stone. Oh, oh, that's an easy one. Okay. Take back two. There's still five left. Oh, hey man, go fuck yourself. Oh yeah, bitch. See how you like getting sliced up by a child. Where did I get Cutter? He was... He's in the room. Um, if you take the northernmost uh, train station in the winter place, and then go to... There's like a fireplace just north of it, in between it and the, the big tree. Honey, you got real ugly. It is... There's like a little uh, side route you can take when you head north. It's the one going down, not the one going up. No, this isn't happening. And if you take that path, then it takes you to a room with one of the stone tablets, and he spawns in there. Let's go. Oh, it's gonna get more and more difficult. That's okay, we only have one left. Oh no, we got two left. Three left! My math is so bad! What if we beat him without fucking taking the dragon stones now? You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's use some water, I guess. No mercy for you. No mercy for you, bitch. Everybody, 
I'm a stupid moron with an ugly face and a big butt, and my butt. So what happens if I don't get all the? I like to kiss my own butt. Because we didn't get all the dragon stones off of them. You still had like three of them. <laughs> Suck on these nuts. <laughs> Oh, I think we got him. Oh, they caught him. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Seven stones have been successfully recovered. Yo, she bitch. Let's go. Let's go. Dragon stones, they're the seven stones joined together to form a signal magnificent amalgamation. You did it. We did it. Now we just need to bring this back this to the gods. This stuff will make you a goddamn sensual tyrannosaurus. Just like the GGs, PK. Our long, long journey is coming to an end at last. Um... There's something that's bothering me. I thought putting the dragon stones on the altar would make the treasure of treasures appear. Well, now that we've come all this way, aren't you at least curious to find out what it is? It's probably that. Hmm, now you mention it, I suppose it is rather intriguing. And if the uh, treasure of treasures were to appear, then maybe it's a sign that we we're supposed to take it. Let's go. Let's go. Great, then it's decided. We'll put the dragon stones on the altar and see what happens. Huh. Don't true final boss me. Uh-oh. <laughs> if I can move around, there's a slim chance that was not the final boss. The real treasure will probably be something stupid like friendship or something. Yeah, it probably is. The friends we made along the way. Alright, here we go. Eric places the dragon stones atop the plinth. I think it looks cool like that. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Hmm. Maybe there's still something missing. The daggers. Huh? Huh? Oh, we gotta put him in the oh. thing. It's gonna revive the dragons, won't it? That is the true treasure. Family and friendship, so don't you mess with it. Wow. What the? The dragon stones have turned into. An egg. Uh, an egg? It's just a bitch ass regular dragon thing? Or is that the. Maybe that's the Zenithian dragon. As a baby. Aww. A baby dragon! It's adorable! Wait, this means you must be the treasure of treasures. We're meant to be bringing the seven stones back, but how are we supposed to do that if they're turned into a dragon? Well, if we explain everything we've been through to the gods, surely they'll understand. <laughs> Porcus. Porcus, you and I both know that's wishful thinking. There's only one thing for, now, for it now. You're right, of course, but if we do that, well, you know. Eric, Eric Mia, yeah. listen, we need to talk. Listen. It's important. Nothing is that cute. Quick, kill it with fire! <laughs> Thing is, we can't leave this little one behind. We're gonna have to take them home with us to the Garden of the Gods. The problem is, if we do that, well, I'm afraid it means goodbye. Wow. 
Wow, um, okay. We'll miss you both terribly, of course, but that's not the only problem. You see, once we go home, you'll have no way to return to your world. Which means you've got to go back there now, while you still can. That's pretty serious. I mean, I'd almost forgotten about our world. I'm sorry, I don't think I'm ready to go back there yet. I want to stay here and find more treasure. No, go back! Be a Viking slave! <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure uh, that life was much better than this one. Surrounded by billions of dollars and all your friends you've recruited over the past 37 hours. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised you feel that way. But the truth is, the future has something in store for you both. A very big adventure indeed. People are going to need you in your world, just like we needed you here. It's all true, but it's our little secret, alright? Now, what say we head back to the base? I'll bet everyone in the luminaries is dying to see you. No I have no doubt they are, and as it happens, I've prepared a special something that'll get us back to base in a jiffy. Yeah, this is all in a, another world. All the, uh, all the Dragon Quest Monsters games do that, for the most part. Well, two doesn't, but, uh, two takes place in the, in, pretty much in the world that one creates, and one is, like, a separate world from six, but you play as, uh, Terry when he was a kid from six. We've met a teleportal, which will take you straight back to base. Everyone there will be really excited to see you. Okay. They better be. And, uh, Dragon Quest Monsters Caravan Heart did the same. They went back to, uh, Kiefer gets sent to another world, and then the post-game takes place in, uh, the world from, uh, 1, 2, and 3. The caravan heart sucks. My buddy Fates manned up and uh, played through it, and I kind of just watched his playthrough to get some of the story. I have so much fucking gold. It's hard to even just set up camp here to have a little picnic. Wow. This is quite the welcome. And you bested Silverbones and recovered the seven stones. We knew you could do it. Princess Anamone told us all about what happened on La Isla Dorada, you see. Bitch. That's only half the story, though. You see, the thing about the seven stones is... You know what? We'll tell you later. I think we should make the rounds and see how everyone's doing first. Don't you, Eric? It might help the two of you uh, decide whether you're ready to go back home. This is a good chance for you to go and have a chat with everyone, Eric. Then once you're ready, you and Mia can decide on what you're gonna do. Uh, stay here forever. I'll be honest with you. I only came here because I heard there was a party. I had no idea this island was chock full of treasure. You don't mind me, uh, borrowing some of it for a while, do ya? I'll give it back, I promise. Fucking Kandar. Back to his old roots. They might, they might get their memory wiped. Oh, this is, okay. I was like, is there like a bonus dungeon over here or something? But no, that's, that's where we came in, apparently. Hey. I like this chick, too. I had some time on my hands, so I thought I'd check out your little shindig. You certainly put on an, you uh, put an impressive crew together. I'm sure your vault is bursting with treasure, too. Well, good for you. The more goodies you collect, the more I'll be able to steal from you when I strike. So watch out. See, Dragon, Dragon Quest Monsters 1 did that, but then Terry uh, found something in his drawer proving it wasn't a dream. Back. I heard you sent that horrible bag of bones packing and got your dragon stones back. Monsters will be queuing up to join your gang once they hear about this latest piece of daring do. Here's hoping you'll continue to hunt for treasure just as hard as ever. Back in 
Back from La Isla Dorada in one piece, eh? Well done, lad. The gang's grown a lot bigger thanks to you. Eh, uh, it's right nice to see a bit of life about the place again. Fair play to you. You've done everything I hoped you would and more. I've not left to ask of you. I'll give you one piece of advice, though. If there's something you really ought to be doing, then just do it. Alright, method is. We're really grateful for everything you've done. The fact that the dragon stones weren't quite what we expected doesn't change that. Whatever you decide to do next, we have full confidence you'll make the right decision. <laughs> not not like pants drawers, like a clothing drawer. <laughs> uh, Kandor is technically a monster, but he's basically a, a, just a human. He's just like a thief. Uh -oh. Got the proper, yeah. Um, Soldier uh, had a genius plan to make it a lot easier to stream uh, Dragon Quest Swords. So all I literally have to do is slide the laptop over here. <laughs> the only issue was that I, uh, I didn't have, uh, my laptop screen is higher than my Wii sensor bar, so I thought I was gonna have to stand the whole time, but no, I just have to move my fucking laptop over there. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Well, how do you like the food, hmm? I was slaving over an hot stove for a Boku. Boku doors many hours. I don't know how to read French. Uh, of course, I add on a petite Paul Dade. Uh, just a little help. Everyone here wanted to throw you a party that would be simply magnifique. Now eat up, up s'il vous plaît. There is plenty more where this came from. Bon appetit. You didn't give me nothing. You liar. You are back and you have seen many rare and wonderful minerals in La Isla Dorada, yeah? You must take me there with you someday. Beat day, beat day. You invite me here. Me sell many things. Me sell many more things in future. Please buy from me. B. Rix doesn't have a lot in the old, the old brain. <laughs> that was impressive, I have to admit. But then I always knew you'd be more than a match for old silver bones. And it wasn't just me who believed in you. Gale felt the same, and so did Princess Animone. Uh, you know I'm starting to think your talents might be a bit wasted here. It might not be a bad idea to cast your eyes further afield. Look for pastures new. Go back to your Viking slave ship and work as slaves for the Vikings as children. I'm sure it would be much more fun. <laughs> Like, how would that be more fun? That's a bad idea. Why would anyone suggest that? Animony? How do you know that's what it is? Arnold? Oh, yeah. It's ever so good to have you back, you know, and quite the relief to boot. I thought that throwing a little party to celebrate was the least we could do, so I had a cake baked and prepared some snacks. I hope you have a jolly good time, Eric. You deserve it. And you'll make sure to speak uh, to everyone, won't you? People are desperate to give you a good old pat on the back. Oh yeah, his little girlfriend, Gail. Welcome back. So come on, tell me, how was the Isla Dorada? One day I'm going to find somewhere no matter, uh, somewhere no one's ever been as well. Just watch me. And when I do, I bet I'll find a treasure that makes the dragon stones look like dragon droppings. I've been very impressed with what you've achieved, you know. Getting the better of Silverbones is no mean feat. Mind you, I've always known you two were a bit special. There's just this curious power you seem to have. And sure enough, you really did turn out to be the key to solving this world's mysteries. Alright, let's go talk to Mia. And then uh, talk to... The pig guys. Easiest way is finding Nemo? They use it... In a joke? They use it in a joke in the game? She's lonely. Let's look at our treasure one last time. Oh, yeah. Oh, remember that wall that I had? This is who punched that wall in. Ele Princess Elena. She's the best. Alright, let's... So, are you ready to go home? I'm ready. 
Really? Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay. Okay, good. good. I'm ready too. It's time to go back to our world. Finding Nemo is a movie. No, I know that, but what joke? What what do they uh use it in as in a joke? What's the joke? <laughs> How's it thanks for the GG's. We're gonna miss all our friends here, but we can't stay forever. And we should probably get going soon, before we change our minds. Let's not spoil everyone's fun though, eh? We should just sneak out while the party's in full swing. Oh, I hate that trope. Make their way to the teleportal. They there they tell Persil and Porcus that they decided to uh, to return to their own world. I see. I know it wasn't easy, but I think you've made the right choice. There's one thing you need to do before you go, though. You have to leave your dragon daggers behind. I guess. Guess that makes sense. They're important in this world. We better not take them with us. So. Remember those pedestals we saw in La Isla Dorada? I think you should put them back there. I'd rather we didn't have to say goodbye like this, but there we have it. We better get going. If they could make teleportals to anywhere they wanted, why didn't they do that right at the start of the game? Just wait a moment. You're you're leaving us, aren't you? The truth is, we all we all realized long ago that you weren't from our world. So we knew this day would come eventually. We'll keep things ship -shape. Well, we're terribly sad to see you go, but rest assured that we will keep everything ship shape here in your absence. You worked so hard to build the luminaries, but it's time for us to take over. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Houston. No, no. Well, Eric, I guess it's time to put the dragon daggers back where they belong. Ba, 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 ba. By the way, folks, if you're enjoying the stream tonight and you haven't yet, please remember to click that heart. Show me some love. Give me a follow here on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Yuki03. Helps the channel grow. Helps you know when I'm online. Helps us reach our follower goals. Um, we should be able to finish this in a couple minutes here, uh, which means Thursday night we'll be starting Dragon Quest Swords on the Wii. Thanks to you guys helped me reach my follower goal of 600 followers before New Year's, allowing us to stream Dragon Quest Swords. Um, and then uh, you can also check out my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash 3 for all my top 10 videos, reviews, and of course our podcasts. Latest top 10 was the uh, top 10 winter areas in video games. Uh, and you can join our Facebook group as well as the Discord to stay in touch off stream. Now let's give her balls. It's a curious pedestal with a dagger-shaped slot. Insert the dagger into the pedestal. But that kills. Eric puts the dragon dagger into the pedestal. It suddenly feels as though the strength has drained from his body. I feel kind of sad, but I guess it's for the best. Okay, let's catch up with Persila and Porcus. They'll probably be keeping an eye on the baby dragon. Baby, dr I lay baby dragon in defense position. <laughs> fucking baby dragon. <laughs> With fra fronds like these, who needs uh an animonies and en enemies and enemies? That's a brutal joke. <laughs> oh no, we don't even have our monsters. What they should have done was brought their monsters back and taken over the Viking ship. It would have been very Dragon Quest Adventures of Die of them. Hey! We put the daggers back into the pedestals! So tell us, how do we get back to our world? Are they the dragons? Oh, well, maybe not. Oh, they're get they got our boat back. Whoa, it's a boat. And it's floating. So this 
will take us home. What's up with you guys? Why aren't you saying anything? They lost their powers. Oh, it's us, Eric. We can't understand. Them. Oh, we don't have the daggers. Oh, that's so sad. They're like saying their goodbyes and we can't even fucking understand them. Hey, Sean, how's it going, dude? I'm not crying, you're crying. Yeah, someone's cutting onions. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for everything. Someone's definitely cutting onions out here. Eric, come on, say goodbye. Fucking That's so bullshit! Sad, man. Fucking bullshit! Fucking bullshit! It was the friends we met along the way, guys. It was. We found the greatest treasure. The friends we literally made along the way. It's probably got a bit of a cooldown, PK. That ship is the greatest treasure. It's true. So they were the two dragons? I kind of called that. And their treasure is there. Fucking bullshit! Fucking bullshit! But does the friendship, but does friendship pay bills or buy food? Do they can help you steal food and steal other stuff? I'm waiting. There's going to be possibly, probably going to be a post credits. Friends can pay your bills and buy you food. Good thinking, man. Yes, when it's the friends footing the bill, yeah. That was sad, though. Friendship is the only friendship that never sinks. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking, PK. Well, probably not leading into 11, but maybe they'll find that necklace. No, this is a prequel to uh, 11. I liked him. I liked him. Captain Levanter. That was sad, man. The fucking they go to see them off and like say their goodbyes, but they're not. They can't be holding the daggers to get back. 
so they can't even understand them. This was, yeah, super fun game. You can bet your ass I'll be playing it still offline just to try and find treasure and stuff that I want to get. Especially when Fates gets this, because I, I'll want to send, like, treasure to his place and stuff. I've, we've got a, a very special stream coming after uh, Dragon Quest Swords. It might not be directly after, but if not directly after, then very shortly after. Something that until recently was impossible to do. I would have liked to have seen uh, the Gale and Eric relationship. At least like have her like more sad that he was leaving at the end. Cause you could totally tell she had a crush on Eric like the whole game. I would have liked to have seen her sad that they were leaving or whatever. Or them say goodbye in a better way. It even shows my uh, side quest scenes. I think Captain Levanter is probably yeah, my favorite character in this game. But Eric will always live in, live, live on in her heart. That's true. Except she'll be heartbroken forever. That was so cool when you actually got to to see Eric and them. Eric and Mia from like Dragon Quest like the Dragon Quest 11 era. It would have been either after. No, it would have had to have been after cuz he was like I have a friend that I'm supposed to be paying a visit with uh to. So it would have been after Dragon Quest uh, 11 when we talked to them. The Rainbow Bridge I only played as Mia for like the first tiny bit of the game. Eric to me was one of the best characters. Yeah. Hey Meeks. Eric is Eric's up there. He's definitely in probably my like top three favorite characters. Or Dragon Quest characters anyways. It's always like it's like a three way tie between Eric, Elena, and uh, Tornico. <laughs> Fucking love Tornico, man. It was always a toss up between Elena and Tornico until until I played 11. Okay, what do we got here? There's got to be like a post post credit scene. Okay, yeah, we're getting back to the ship. Back to being slave children again. Did we keep any treasure? Jade and Eric. Yeah, I really like Jade as well. You're late. Sorry. Got held up. Well, we're here now. That's the main thing. Huh? 
Reminds you of that night, doesn't it? <laughs> Don't worry. The gang will be doing great. Yeah, you're right. Well then, let's go. Wait, is that... Is that... Fuck. Huh? <laughs> Wait, what? To be continued. Are they making a sequel to this? That isn't Dragon Quest Eleven? Or is there like a post game? This stuff will make you a goddamn sexual tyrannosaurus. Hey, geez. Just like me. So they were slaves, and to escape hardship of their life, they made a... No, they, uh... Yeah, either... Oh, here we go. Uh, they, uh... Freed those monsters that were hanging uh -oh. from the cage. They were fucking around. Bonner alerts! So they freed those monsters, and then those monsters are like... Demigods from that other world. But they lost most of their powers. After successfully gathering the seven stones, Eric and Mia return home to Erdria. But then Persila and Porcus made an appearance out of the blue. Eric and Mia decided to join their old friends, and together they headed back to Draconia. Probably post-game. There, now you can understand us again. Welcome, Welcome back to Draconia. So, are you going to tell us why you brought us back here? I bet it's because of all the treasure we left behind the first time, isn't it? Hmm, how about we head back to base, and then I'll explain everything. That's right, your base is still going strong. Let's head over there right away, shall we? Eric, Mia, Persila, and Porcus make their way to the Luminary's base. Hello, adding. After we'd said goodbye to you, we headed straight back home. We had to tell the big boss that the seven stones had turned into a baby dragon after all. It's safe to say that they were not happy. Indeed, they weren't. In fact, they were so displeased that they said the only way we could make amends was to collect 50 iconic treasures. Apparently one of the gods had left them scattered all over the place, and now they're keen to reclaim what is theirs. And that's where you come in. We briefly considered asking the Sophie You and stupid some other son of a bitch! <laughs> we got fucked! <laughs> but when it comes to treasure hunting, there was only ever going to be one choice. Right. That's right, we want you to help us, just like the old, good old days. Are you game? Yes. Excellent. Excellent. We knew you wouldn't let us down. Oh, yes, I nearly forgot. We've been asked to look after Ellis. That's right, we decided to name our new friend Ellis. Um, little thing's a bit young to be getting into fights and whatnot, though, so hang back. Hanging back here at the base is probably the safest option. Right then, begin. let the treasure hunt begin. How many iconic mod fucking I things? If it, isn't, if it isn't Eric, it's good to have you back. I trust you're pleased with how well things are running in your absence. All our facilities are in tip-top condition for you to use as you see fit. We're all ready and waiting to help you in any way we can. I should also mention that a great many changes have taken place in Draconia since you've been away. But before you get stuck into exploring, it might be an idea to polish off any requests you weren't quite able to finish before. Once you've tied up all your loose ends, you might consider revisiting some of your old haunts. 
Who knows what new discoveries await you? Speaking of which, the foreman was asking after you. He's down in the snarl when you have a moment. I must say that for a treasure hunter such as yourself, Draconia truly is a gift that never stops giving. Cloud Compass Banner. Banner with a cloud. Ah, oh, cool. Someone in the game has been polishing the churros on the plinths without anyone noticing. Nice! Hero from four. We should probably save. Let's go see what's his dick. He's apparently down here. Um, so what do we have for quests now? Gang quests. Oh, right. Okay, 50 iconic treasures. So we're not even too far off. But I'll do those basically offline. We will start Dragon Quest. Uh... Oh, they added a bunch of more of these. Okay, and Bonnie. Dude, this one looks really good. The armlet of transmutation. Will that turn me into a monster? I'll set that as my main. Okay, let's head down the snarl. But yeah, we'll we'll start Dragon Quest Swords on Thursday. I'll pick away at this because it's gonna take me a while to get those iconic. Uh, items anyways. I just jump to the fucking bottom of this. Holy fuck. That was a little fucking terrifying. There we go. I knew all that digging would be worth it. I never imagined there'd be a place like this all the way down here. This is the end of it now, though. This is as deep as it goes. And a real shame it is, too. I was really digging all that digging. <laughs> If you don't like tackling all those stairs, select go to square from the main menu and you'll be back in, up top in no time flat. Just checking for some greasy treasure. Usually they've got treasure chests down in here. Nothing in this last one. We are Let's too high. Save. Seriously, Doug, we're too high. Thanks Stop. For the 420 Doug, we're soldier. too high. Doug, we're too high. I'm high. He's high. I'm so high. Damn it, Doug. We said we're high. On the fifth level high, of the snarl lies a teleportal to an endless we labyrinth. Can't the further help. you venture into the dungeon, the stronger you What do you want become. from us? There are we're no rewards here, no matter how deep you might go. But you might Doug. be able to recruit monsters we're... and obtain medals. You might even encounter Doug, some really high. rare beasts. Just make sure you're properly prepared before you take on the challenge. If you dare to enter, but find yourself unable to continue, just open the menu and select retreat when you want to return to the base. That's cool. I'll have to check that out later. I do want to start the uh, side quest with what's her name. I think it said she's on the pattern noggin. Find Bonnie. Oh, I guess it'll show us once we get out there. I wonder if there's like other monsters that you can, can't recruit anywhere else. Where are you going treasure hunting today? Okay. It's not even saying. Quests. Bonnie. Oh, track her down and challenge her in battle. Oh, I don't know where the fuck she is. Okay, well, so much for that. Where are you going treasure hunting today? The fuck? Oh, that's one of those uh, rainbow whatever. Rainbow peacocks. And Tara. I'm not sure. Oh, that'd be the hero from 5. I got a bird's eye view! <laughs> Alright, well, let's call it here, guys. 
Thank you guys so much for coming out. Uh, we will get the true ending. It probably won't be till after Dragon Quest Swords. But I hope you guys are looking forward to Dragon Quest Swords. We will be starting that shit on Thursday. And, uh, yeah. If you enjoyed the stream and you haven't yet, please remember to click that heart. Show me some love. Give me a follow here on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Dookie03. Let's see who we can and should raid. We are we'll too We'll have one high. for the road. Seriously, Doug, we're too high. Let's see. Stop. Doug, we're too high. Doug, we're too high. I'm high. He's high. I'm so high. Damn it, Doug. We said we're oh. high. Those we're too are high, rich, Doug. Man. We can't help. Doug, we are too high. What do you yeah, want from us? We're too high to help we're you. We're stoned. Uh, Doug, let's see. We're... Fuck Doug, it. Let's we're raid uh, Arcus. He's playing Dragon Warrior 2. Not that he needs my raid. <laughs> yeah, soldier. Uh, you'll want to be at least level 30 PK Mon. For Baramos. Which is kind of funny because level 30 was the level cap in, in Dragon Quest 1. Alright guys, thank you so much for coming out. I hope you enjoyed the stream and I'll see you fine fucks on Thursday for some Dragon Quest Swords.